You ready? Fight! Second down, row on! Chin Ray should be aware of this and be looking for the counter. Of course, uh, Thomas Fan, our uh, referee for this one. Again, that very interesting uh, striker versus wrestler matchup, Hollywood. Striker versus grappler. The uh, tale as old as time in mixed martial arts. This is about, we have two guys who are experts in their style. It's all about who can implement their game plan in this match. Record-wise, they're pretty easy. All right, nice strike, dropping him with Yad Singh. Yeah, as you were saying, the five, uh, both guys have five wins, and again, uh, the only loss on Yad Singh's career was his last fight in another organization. So he's come to Rebel looking to get back on the winning streak again, and uh, he believes he can do so. He's very confident coming in this one against China's Chen Rei. Look at how every time Chen Rei throws something, Yad Singh is looking to pressure. He's absolutely trying to get in close enough to grab him to neutralize that strike and to get him into his world on the ground. He's looking for that open, isn't he? Oh, overhand right by Chen Rei, just misses. Lift him on. Shaved him on the side <laughs> of the head a little bit. Yeah. Oh, there we go, there's the opening, but nice defense there by Chen Rei. Turn around with a nice knee. Yad Singh turns it around and says, Chen Rei. Yeah, Chen Ray will be uh, happy to get this one off the cage because that, yeah, that was uh, more Yad Singh's world. Yeah, in the world of wrestling and cage fighting, one of the company's standard attacks is you get them to the cage, you keep them there, work your single, and then work on your takedown off of that. Yad Singh is going to look to, what he would do is throw a strike, pick up that lead leg and drive him to the cage, and there's his clinch right there. He needs to probably land a couple of strikes, so I can't imagine that Chad Ray is not aware that Yad Singh, the expert wrestler, wants to take him down. He knows that, and so Yad Singh's got to set these takedowns up if he's going to, if he's going to implement his game. Again, Chen Ray's thought on Yad Singh. Again, he, he knows he's very strong and good at wrestling and stand up, but he says he has a laid out plan and strategy for him. And it's going to take every step to win tonight. So, pretty uh, even battle so far early, uh, well, midway point of round one. Also, something worth noting Yad Singh is doing his camp out of the Phuket top team. China's Chen Ray over Yad Singh from India. There we go. There's the opening that Yad wanted. A bit of a mistake there by Chen Ray. I thought we were about to see that suplex we were talking about. <laughs> I want to see the suplex. Suplex City. But uh, again, this is where Yad Singh wants it. He wants to push Chen Ray up against the cage. Whereas Chen yeah. tries to turn around, but uh, again, Yad wants to keep it here because Chen Ray was having his way a bit in the center of the cage with uh, those strikes landing. He really found his range in that first round, and it's a good place for Yad Singh to get him against the cage. If I were in Yad Singh's place, I would use that underhook he has on his left arm, drop down, pick up the single leg, pull him off the cage, and get a better position for that takedown. Tell you what, well, speaking of Yad Singh during the week, he said it's an absolute honor to fight for Rebel FC. He has big plans for his uh, staying this promotion. So, again, uh, making his Rebel FC debut, and he's looking to make a mark uh, here. And uh, again, this is where he does an interesting uh, tactical battle from both fighters. Using their game plan, what they need, but see who comes out on top. Three knees, four knees to the body, five knees to the body, six knees to the body. 
as he fights this takedown. A lot of guys get beat up, forcing the takedown. If you can't get it, I mean, same rule in jujitsu. If your technique is not working in a couple of seconds, then you might need to switch to a different technique. Oh. There we go, that's the end of round one. The big question is one thing is that taking someone down against the cage when they're resisting takes a lot of energy, Brad. Here we have some strikes as they're exchanging. Well, now he's Joe, in the middle of the cage. Chin Ray has control, but when he gets against the cage, that's when Yad Singh has, uh, can shut him down. Here's where he almost got his back. That's where we were looking for that suplex, but there, this is a story of uh, round one. We've seen the center, Chen Ray having some great success with, look at that, oh, that just missed with that left hand. But uh, again, I think Yad was more comfortable when he had Chen Ray up against the cage, but as you said, Chen Ray landing a couple of knees up against the cage uh, towards the end of round one. So it'll be interesting to see how the uh, judges score this one, but I suspect they're gonna like the, the, the strikes of Chen Ray. Yeah, I mean, if you want to talk about who more effectively implemented their game plan, wow. I'd say it's got to be Chin Ray because Chin Ray's like, Chin Ray is landing strikes, and Singh is not getting the takedown, not yet. Here we go. Round two of the second fight of Rebel FC 8, a Warriors return. It's proudly brought to you by Per Se, the specialist in fresh juice. You can use some fresh juice right now, I can tell you that. It is hot here. It is. It's very humid here in Gwen Chow, but beautiful stadium here at the TN he TN Her Sports Center. Yeah, it seems he's a little more aggressive this second round, which I think is a good thing. Chin Ray is responding in suit though. Look at that, dropping him with the two-piece. We were saying before about the, the ghost Chen Ray. It's his uh, second fight at Rebel FC. His first fight was Rebel FC six with a first round submission choke victory over Romel Lugo. We were there for that one. That was China versus the world in Shenzhen. So uh, we get to see uh, Chen Ray back in action. Enjoying our time at uh, Rebel FC. Look at that, that's nice there. Short right hand lands for Chen Ray. A couple of good strikes there for, uh, for Yad Singh as well. Nice exchange by both fighters, but there, there's a left kick. Uh, again, that uh, we saw in round one. I'd like to see Yad Singh setting up his takedown of the strikes. I mean, he ducked under and he, he clipped him a little bit. Him, yeah, absolutely. He changed levels and got in tight, but he was—he didn't follow it up. He threw it. He didn't grab. I mean, you've got to—you've got to work these into combinations. You've got to think uh, jab, cross, hook, kick, jab, cross, hook, shot. Interesting strategy so far in round two by Yad Singh. He seems content to stay on the feet. He didn't seem to be looking for a takedown at all. Oh, he wants a takedown for sure, Brett. Look, look at him look at pressure. Now oh, no, you hit me again. It's not hurting me. Oh, that's that's debatable. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way he's acting. There we go. There's a, that's what the opening is looking for. Maybe he was just like, I'm content to stand, but I am looking for the takedown. Well, you see how he's shooting blind. He's essentially changing levels and, and trying to grab him by the hips. He's not using the technical setups to get this. He's just hoping he can grab him. And once I feel like he's a clinch wrestler which is that style, that Indian style. They don't do the drop step like they do in freestyle and folk style in the United States and Russia. What they do in uh, India is they get the clinch like judo and then they try to throw people down. It's more of a, a Greco-Roman style. And Yad Singh is having a real difficult time. There it is, but that's where we're looking. Ducks under the right hand, gets under the hips and drives into the mat. Now can. This is Chin where Ray. we see what Yad Singh can do, because this is what he wanted, and it took one and a half rounds to get it to the mat. Let's see what his skills are like, as we were talking about the mud wrestling. He did get him down half before the halfway point of the second round. If for some reason, if Chad Ray cannot get off the ground, then Yad Singh will win this round by control, most likely. It depends on what he does from the top position. I hate it when, when the guys that don't have top position but don't do anything with it. I like the guys that are fighting from the back and they're working harder. I prefer to give uh, a round to that fighter because they're working harder rather than lying on top of it. It stands to reason, though, that Yad Singh has, is pretty good at this. The thing with wrestlers is that once they do get on top of you, they can be extremely extremely difficult to get back to the feet. Nice Work. defense there by Chen Ray. He's, he's keeping the, he's got to wear his arms out by doing that, but uh, Yad Singh's trying to advance his position, but uh, the butterfly for uh, Chen Ray is working pretty well. Yeah, he's got the shins underneath the hips of Yad Singh. 
trying to uh, keep keep that keep him away, keep his hips from advancing position. Of course, yeah, Singh ideally want to get around his legs, but he seems pretty content to sit in the butterfly guard and hunt for strikes. I mean, here he is working for a pass of some sort, but it looks like he's just passing to the open guard. So Yed Singh does his fighting daily, practicing, obviously wrestling, but also uh, fixing and boxing more time, BJJ, and he trains twice a day. He was a fighter, would be used to that, Hollywood. Yes, and uh, he is training with the guys at PTT, a lot of good professional fighters training there in Phuket top team. There we go, the corner, just looking at the corner for Yed Singh, they're saying, watch out for that, that submission attempt, and the crowd willing their countrymen. Chen Ray to get off his back and get back into this round because in 45 seconds in round two, the last half of round two is being controlled by Yan Sing. Chen Ray to see how they score this one. Look at that. Excellent wrist ride off the Kimura attempt by Yad Singh. And now Chen Ray is in Yad Singh's world, getting smashed up against the cage. And if he holds on to that forearm like he has, he's got him by the right arm, then he might be able to land some very powerful, very clean strikes from this position. Got uh, 15 seconds to work in round two. Interesting tactical battle with him. You know what both strategies are. I love the wrist rise we've seen in these first two fights, Brett. As we see these fighters, when they have grappling control, they're reaching around the body of their opponent and keeping them on the wrap. Here we go, there's round two done. And we head to a third and final round, and both guys are going to be pretty confident that they've got a, at least a round each. So, uh, third round could decide the winner of this fight. One thing really to notice, notice Chin Ray in the corner and the fatigue. Look how tired he is. And here we have some strikes going back and forth. And look, sometimes you got to take some to get some. And he got hit, and then Yad Singh, off of one of these overhands, that's where he was able to get a hold of the hips of Chin Ray and give him the mat in the second, the first half of the second round, and he was on top the whole time. Now he's got a lot of decision victories. We saw that in his record, so again, there's the takedown that's right the there. One. Under that, he's there, and look, this is Yad Singh's world. Chin Ray has, a, it's, a, it's an art form getting out from under a wrestler, and if you don't understand how to do it, you don't know the technique, that's your new home now. Well, I'm looking forward to this round. It's been a very interesting tactical battle. And obviously, what we're going to be seeing is Chen Ray trying to keep the feet, avoid the wrestling moves of Yen Sing, and Yen Sing's going to want to get the end of the mat and control it. Let's see what happens in the third and final round. This is Yen Sing in the white trunks taking on the ghost from China, Chen Ray in the black and red. Isaac, yeah. One of our referees tonight. Thomas Fan is in control of this one. Chin Ray looks a little bit tired, but he's still moving well. Now, does Yad Singh have enough gas tank to get him back to the mat and keep him there before the second half of this round? Because it is one and one. This round does decide the fight if there's no finish. Well, again, both guys have, I've saw both, we saw both guys at the way yesterday. Both guys had a good weight cut. And, uh, and look at them, their physical condition is, is elite. So, uh, and they're still going pretty strong. So look at that jab there by Chen Ray. That was nice, but it was an eye poke. I, no. Thomas oh. didn't see it. Thomas Fan didn't see it. So um, Yan Singh did stop, but no, he's, he's acknowledging it now that he got an eye poke. So he's got up to five minutes to recover. He gets it checked out. I'm pretty sure he's going to be okay to continue. Yeah, Yan Singh looks a little confused. He doesn't look like he realized he poked him. You never know what's going to scuff somebody with these small gloves. He did show some sportsmanship and stop. Acknowledged that uh, that it could have happened, but he didn't probably notice it. Yeah, yeah, it's seeing replay. That's for sure. Inside leg kick there by Chen Ray. Well, no, nice. return there uh, by Yad. Yeah, I like that. If that yeah. left hook lands, that's lights out. It is, and, and maybe keeping his hands up to defend against potential left hooks and large strikes of Chin Ray, who is the more dangerous striker, is the reason that Yad Singh is being a little more. There's the takedown, or there's the attempt. Again, Chin Ray knows the score, so, coming, does so does Yad Singh. These guys know what he's the other, their opponent's trying to do. And whoever, like I say, whoever wins this round is going to be taking this fight home. Again, there's still plenty of time left in the third and final round. It's quite simple. It stays in the feet. Shen Ray will probably win. If it goes to the mat, depending on when, advantage Yad Singh. Is that the way you see it, Hollywood? I see 
Yeah, I, yeah. I see Chad. I see. Oh, there we are. Nice Superman, Superman punch. punch. Lead Superman punch, too. Oh, and there. There's a nice little two piece off of the counter. Chin Ray starting to find his rhythm a little bit. Looks like he's got a bit of the range. And there's another uh, high dive to the hips. Now, Brett, there's a series of positions here to get the guy down against the cage. Perry Kyle, our MC, is just warming this crowd up beautifully at the TNR Sports Center. Great chow. They're showing these uh, little light up tubes in the crowd there, loving the action here at Rebel FC 8. A Warriors return. Yad Singh continues to work hard against the cage against Chen Ray. He's trying to get that takedown. It's two and a half minutes left. He's got to do something. That's got his best chance to win as uh, Chen Ray had, has had a good round so far on the feet, but what he wants to do is probably get that separation and keep it on the feet and go back to work with his strikes, Hollywood. Yeah, Chin Ray is definitely oh. looking to get off the cage, and the referee separates him. Not a lot of action with uh, the takedown. Yeah, I thought that he, he needed to push for that takedown a little bit further. Yeah, he just he was probably not working hard enough there, yeah. but he's probably tired. Just like like, like a punch. If, if you throw a punch and they block it, throw three more punches behind it. You'll hit him with the third or fourth one if you do it right, if you commit to the combination. With wrestling, you can't just oh, grab nice a left big hook left hook, man, if Chin Ray. Clean, flush. Yad Singh just shakes it off, keeps pressing forward. Oh, big overhand right, too. He leaned with it, but there's a jab. Chin Ray really finding his range now in the third round. <laughs> Chin Ray having some great success in round three. He's keeping his hands low to avoid the shot. Notice how he's ready for the sprawl right there. Excellent sprawl by Chin Ray. Going for the high kick, slipping a little bit. Excellent striking performance in round three by Chin Ray. Again, yet couldn't get it down to the mat with over just over a minute left, third and final round. I'd like running to out of time. I'd like to see yeah, I'd seen throw a jab. Oh, there we go. I'd like to see him throw a jab, uppercut, and shoot off the uppercut. The uppercut tends to bring the guard up away from their hips and makes it much easier to take the guy down. Nice long jab by Yad Singh, but the stand-up battle belongs to Chad to Chin Ray. And with only 45 seconds. I have this one scored in favor of the Chinese fighter. Oh, a little bit of blood now. First blood of Rebel FC8. First blood. Oh, nice. Oh, he's big. He him. hurt him. Chen Ray, nice punch there. That was a hard right hand. Oh, he's hurt again. Second strike coming oh, through. He's flooring against the cage. He needs a block or grab. He's resisting. Oh, he's not looking good. This is a standing TKO. Oh, That's done. right. It's all it's all all big strikes. Big strikes by Chin Ray as he gets to finish in the third round. 20 seconds left in round three. The ghost, Chen Ray, gets it done. Let's and see the him. crowd here at the TNR Sports Centre in Quenchow is really wrapped for their fighter. And Chen Ray is really happy he's got it done. He left it late, but he got it done. Check on the replay. We're going to be looking for two big overhand rights to start off this combination flurry to end the fight. Chin Ray, very relieved to be here. We are. Here's the big overhand. The second, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom, boom. And the referee has seen enough as he starts to turn and resist. Yeah, that's a great stoppage by our, our official okay. Thomas Mann. Here we go again. That's the one that started. Clips him across the nose. It was actually earlier in the there middle of the cage. It staggered him back. And then that was the second one. And then the, then the overhand, there's number three. Big power strike right to the temple. You can only take too many of those, so many of those. The crowd here is really excited for their fighter. <laughs> we'll send it up <laughs> to Dylan <laughs> Phillips. <laughs> there we go. Powerful performance by Chen Ray as he performs well in front of his uh, home country. And his sixth win on the trot, he moves to 6 and 0. Oh. Congratulations, he accepts the trophy from Amanda and Gigi. He moves to 6 and 0, oh, and we can't wait to see him again at the Rebel Fighting Championship. Oh, no, 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 no.